Hey guys, what episode 39 of Techno News? This one's for the 9th of May. I'm a bit delayed. Um, remember to hit the thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so, leave a comment or any more for engagement. Follow me on X and TikTok, and you can t catch me live if you want to discuss this or any of my other videos from around 10 o'clock here on YouTube Gaming. We'll get straight into the news. I'll give you a personal update and then we'll go on from there. Yeah, so. Um, I haven't had time off as such, but I've been renovating, if you want to call it that, the studio. Um, basically, I had a bit of a damp problem uh, in through the floor, so I've I've raised the floor in here to try and sort of secure things and make things safer and generally better for my health and the stream's health. Um, so I do apologise that I had to take a bit of time out to do that. I'm a bit behind on a couple of my videos, but I will be trying to catch up with that. As I said, this news release is a day late. They normally come out on a Wednesday, um, so I do apologise for that. But from next week, hoping to get everything back on track, there'll be reaction videos Tuesdays and Thursdays, news videos Wednesdays, live streams pretty much every night um as far as i can manage from around 10 o'clock p.m uk and we'll try and hit the ground running and pushing on we are trying to push for monetization i do need viewing hours so if you wouldn't mind if you enjoy this or if you want to see some of my spooky reactions or even just come by the live streams anything will help to try and push those figures up so i would be gratefully appreciative of that um i'm sort of a week behind where i wanted to be because of the issues i've been having but um we're back on track now uh, everything seems to be up and running and i'm happy with the way it's doing things so we'll just push on from there um i may need to work on the lighting because i seem to be getting a lot of glare off me baldy heat but um other than that everything else seems fine um right so we'll crack on with the gaming news so hell divers there's been a bit of an uproar with hell divers uh, basically through the week, they announced that you will no longer be able to play Helldivers without logging into a Sony account. Obviously, there's been a lot of stories around Sony PlayStation not getting enough members as such, and I think this was their way of trying to force the hand. One of the Helldivers devs sort of came out saying he knew he was taking a risk with what he said, and he did actually get sacked for it from where I gather. But um, he basically said the hand's... The devs' hands were tied. It was Sony that were pushing it, not them. And there wasn't much to do when he was being quite supportive. Basically, the, the game got review-bombed on stream completely. It was going from one of the most positive to one of the most negatives pretty much overnight. Um, and he sort of encouraged people to do so. Uh, and he got sacked for it. A um, lot of the pushback is because, bearing in mind the game's been on sale for months now, um... A lot of people have already bought the game and a lot of those people live in countries where you can't physically get a Sony account so they couldn't play the game, basically. Apparently there's around 177 countries or territories where you can't physically get a Sony account or in some of those, to get an account, you need to have a PlayStation to sign in. Um, so there was a lot of pushback from that. There was Elon, basically. And it got bombed. Um, so... That's sort of what's been happening with that. They have since revoked it and put it back and sort of apologise, saying, like, you don't need the account after all, blah de blah de blah um, But it's all a bit of a strange situation. Let us know what you think on that one. Um, another game that sort of came to light while I was updating the, the Epic Store and things like that, Ubisoft and stuff. x seems to have a release date now. It looks like it's coming out on the 21st of May, according to the launcher. Um, so we'll keep an eye on that. I wouldn't mind giving that another go. I think I did play it once on a console ages ago. Um, but being be interesting to see how it plays on my PC now that I've had the upgrades. It might be fun. It seems a bit more Call of Duty than anything else. But I'll certainly be giving it a look. It's free to play, so it's not going to hurt. I'll, I'll give it a... A quick look and see what that's all about. Uh, another bit of news that sort of caught me attention is League of Legends. Obviously made by Riot Games. They've sort of made people install 
Vanguard, which is the anti-cheat system used in Valorant and stuff like that. But it's it's a kernel root program. And apparently there's lots of people saying it's bricked the PCs or it's getting them stuck in a reboot loop. Um, there's a lot of reports about it. I've never had any issues personally, um, but apparently some people are having ongoing issues with that. I suppose it comes with a territory with a bean kernel base. It's like embedded into your bloody firmware of your computer, basically. Um, so, yeah, it's a bit of a strange one. I hope they do rectify it for people. Um, but we'll see what comes of that. As I said, thankfully, I've never had any issues with that. A new game was announced, and I got quite excited about it until I looked further into it. Uh, Lord of the Rings game. I thought, can it be any better than Gollum? Can it be any worse? That was a load of shite. But no, they've announced Tales of the Shire, which is basically a kiddie farming thing. Very much like Stardew Valley. I think it may even have some of the devs from Stardew Valley on board. But it's wetter, so I thought, well, at least the graphics might be alright. Wrong, it looks fucking awful. But... Each to their own. Some people may play this, but it's not one I'll be looking at personally. Yeah, it's just too cutesy and kitty and yeah, not for me. I think we'll give that one a pass. Let us know if you do pick it up and what you guys think of it, but it's it's not something I'll be playing. I was hoping for another decent, I don't know, like the the two towers games, things like that. They were decent back then, but this just looks awful. Um. Next up, Grey Zone launched in amongst all the talk of Kios. Um, there was a lot of who I would talk of releasing the £250 bundle and um, stinging people who'd already purchased the game who were supposed to be getting all the DLC and stuff like that. In the midst of all that happening, um, Grey Zone Warfare launched. Within two days, apparently, it sold 400k copies, bearing in mind it's early access, much like Tarkov. Um, it does look incredible graphically. It looks absolutely insane. Some of the effects on the foliage and everything, it just looks unreal. Um, but it, it does seem pretty slow. If it was cheaper, I might have give it a look. Um, but I can't be really paying forty pounds because I probably can't see us playing it that much if I did get it, to be honest. But um, I would be keen in playing a game like this. I did enjoy the cycle, which was sort of an extraction kind of vibe. But um, I haven't played any more realistic ones as such. But I might give it a something like this a look down the line. Let us know what you guys think if you have tried it. Um be interesting to see what your thoughts are uh next up we have alan wake it's sort of been in the world a while now alan wake but apparently it's still struggling to make back its initial budget i think a lot of the budget went on marketing to be fair but it seems to have bit itself in the arse um it's a, again it's a queer situation this because it's like they're struggling to make money back, but they only allowed the game to be available on the Epic Game Store. It's not on Steam or anything like that. If they brought it to Steam, I'm sure it would claw back the money in the blink of an eye. But for some reason, they decided it was gone on Epic Store only, and it's all sort of bit itself in the backside because of that. Did you just play it? What did you think of it? Was it worth playing? I don't know. Uh, let us know what you think. And lastly, a game that has sort of grabbed my attention is Space Marine 2. It looks pretty impressive, to be fair, gameplay-wise. It does look incredible. Graphically and aesthetically, it looks unreal. I mean, I, I love 40k anyhow, to be honest. But I never actually played the original, but this looks unreal. like. Um, but they also, there was a hacker got into the files and he found that there's going to be PvP mode which there wasn't in the last one, but there was in the original one years ago. Um, they reckon it's going to be 8v8, squad warfare, um, possibly objective-type games, ultramarines against chaos marines. I wish it could be anybody but the ultramarines, but it is an ultramarines game. I was always a Dark Angels boy myself. Um, but, yeah, looks incredible. Um, so I will be keeping my eye out on that one. I'm not sure when the release date is, actually. I should have checked, but... Um, I will be looking forward to that when that comes through. 
And that's pretty much it for the news for this week. Um, as I said, it's a bit of a, a late one, so I've just tried to pull something together so I have got an update out. Uh, hopefully back on our usual Wednesday slot from next week. Uh, I do apologise. I think I missed last week as well because of stuff going on. But um, everything's back in order. I need to move a few monitors around and stuff like that. But overall, I'm pleased with the way things have turned out. And here it is better for me in here. So I feel a bit happier. But I am grateful for all the support. The Hitting the thousand subs is unreal. Um, absolutely crazy. Um, big shout out to batman creed for helping us with that um he's been pushing me streams and stuff on his instagrams and things like that so a big shout out to batman creed but the ongoing support from all of you guys is unreal um so grateful uh kind of put it into words really just need the viewing figures up and then we can push for the monetization we're nearly there to be honest we're not far off the mark so I think the more videos I pour out, it'll gradually ebb away. Um, I need 3,000 viewing hours or 4,000 for the higher tier. And we're a couple of hundred off the the first step. So, yeah, I'll keep you updated with that. But I am grateful. And in the meantime, have a good one, guys. Thanks for watching. And I'll catch you on my live streams. Have a good one.